Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky Jr. Guys, happy Thursday. It is a amazing day. We just got like two feet of snow outside. It's pretty out of control, but we have power. We have life. We have beautiful things. And we have a new software that actually works. <laughs> I am back on my other software um, <clears throat> with multiple camera angles, and I am super happy to uh, get this show back on the road and talk about today's topic of conversation. Just want to say what's up to Charles Power and Michael Coop, Mike Cooper and Kellyanne and Colton and Krishan. What's going on, everybody? This is a, another Facebook Live, and today I want to talk about whether or not you have a brand or just a business. <clears throat> and so I'll share with you a quick little story. I wrote an email about this this morning. And um, I was I was in communication with someone who came to me. They were looking for some design work for a marketing funnel that they were building inside of ClickFunnels. And they were like, you know, I, I really need this design to look polished and professional. And and so he he came to me and I did my regular sort of consultation with him and asked him a few questions and 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 visited the the page that he wanted me to design and I realized that due to the answers that I had gotten from him it wasn't the design that needed the help it was the business that needed the help because the business really didn't have a brand to it and so what do I mean by that so that's what I want to sort of unpack today and sort of help you guys understand the importance of brand and business and how brand will separate you from the from everyone else, right? And so when we talk about brand, what am I talking about? <clears throat> it's not logo. It's not website. It's a mission. <laughs> it's a mission. Do you have a mission inside of your business? What are you trying to overcome? What are you trying to just take out? What are you trying to completely disrupt, right? This is the question that you want to ask yourself before you uh, start building things out like websites, like logos, like all of this good stuff. So when we talk about mission, People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So if you set out on a mission, people are either going to become part of that mission or they're not going to be part of that mission. So understanding that brand is mission, is, is part of your mission. And with that comes a message. Does your brand have a very particular and specific message that you want your audience to consume and resonate with and connect with. Without a mission, you don't have a message. And without a message, you don't have an audience. And here's where the branding comes in. This is the meat and potatoes of branding that I really want you to get. If you don't have an audience that is perceiving you in the way that you want to be perceived, if they don't have a, if you don't have an audience that gets a gut feeling about what it is that you do and how you do it and why you do it, then you don't have a brand. And so getting back to the individual that reached out to me, what happened was when I did some research, I realized that that's all he had was this click fate, click funnels lead generation two page funnel, like a two page landing page that helped him get leads, but there was no logo on the page. There was no website. There was no background on him. There was no, there was, no, there wasn't a brand. It was like a floating landing page out in the internet somewhere that was just there. It was like aimlessly floating. It wasn't connected to anything. And so when I think brand, I think of home base. 
I think of the, 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 the muscle and the meat and the potatoes that businesses are formed on top of. Okay. So you can have a business, but you don't necessarily have a brand because you don't have any, any solid foundation to work on. And that's what I'm trying to get, get across to you guys today that brand is that gut feeling that people get about your business. And what was happening when I was going to this landing page, it was some green text and a white background and one or two testimonials with a picture, you know, a really tiny picture of the man and his wife. It, it looked, um, but I wasn't, there was no feeling behind it. There was, there was nothing to resonate with. Okay. There was nothing to resonate with. And that's what I mean by business versus brand. Do does your business evoke an emotion out of your audience? And if it doesn't, we got to ask ourselves, why? Why? Are we not paying attention to what branding really is and the importance of it? Because branding, again, is that differentiating factor between you and everyone else that does what you do. And if you don't have a mission, if you don't have a message, and you don't have an audience, then you don't have a brand. And so I want to hammer this home because a lot of you guys think branding is just a website or a logo, um, and it's not. And it's part of it, you know, it's, it's part of your brand's identity, but it's not your brand. And that's what we need to, that's what I'm dedicated and my mission is to tell you guys what branding is and why it's so important to your business. Because brand is that connection. It's that emotion that connects people to your business. And so if you don't have it, what is there to grab onto? What is there to resonate with? And that's so important, guys. It's so important. So I would love to get questions and comments um, from the audience um, when it comes to building brand, because I think there's a lot of disconnect between brand and business and do I have a business or not a brand or vice versa. And so I'm here to tell you that if you don't have a consistent look, feel, voice, imagery, right? It's just floating. It's just a floating, there's nothing to grab onto. And that's, that's why branding is so important. So I'll use myself as, as an example. I've spent the last 10 and a half years building my brand. Okay. And so when you come to uniquedesigns.net, there is a feeling that you get. Okay. There is an emotion that's evoked. <clears throat> I've heard that I'm, I look expensive. I look top quality. Um, I look motivated and inspirational. And these are all values that Unique Designs has and lives by and stands behind. And that's brand, right? Polished is another one that I get a lot. That's brand. That's the emotion behind it all. Okay. And so what happens is when you come to a website that's just bland and cookie cutter, or you get a logo that looks like it was made on Fiverr or 99 designs with uninspired design or uninspired, uh, you know, uh, feel to it. It's just like somebody just slapped it together for you. There's a real subconscious disconnect there. And until we understand that emotion is the magic behind the business and that's brand we're never really going to understand how how important branding is and so hammering this message home is my mission it's my mission and branding affects your bottom line because if your audience doesn't resonate with your message or doesn't even know what it is and they don't know what you stand for, then they're not going to buy. That's it. You can have the best widget in the world. 
But if it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't connect, you're toast. They'll go with the company that does connect. And so getting back to this individual that reached out, I, I declined the work because that wasn't the problem. The problem wasn't the design of the page. It was the branding of his business. It was not there. When I did a Google search on his name, nothing came up but a couple of YouTube videos that were published over a year ago. And so that's sort of the thing that we need to understand. Brand's consistency. It's consistency and it is mandatory that you build it because it will reinforce your reputation. It'll reinforce, again, what you stand for, which is your mission and your message. And so with all that said, guys, take this for what it's worth, but you don't have a business without a brand. You don't. You don't. And I see a lot of folks out there putting the cart before the horse when it comes to building websites and building logos, and they don't do the proper homework. And the homework is simply this, understanding who it is that you truly want to serve and knowing everything about them and lining up their pain points and their challenges to your mission, your solution, and your messaging, it's game over. I was taught very, very early in my coaching days, you put the right message in front of the right people and the right things happen. And so you have to build brand. Brand equity is what's going to drive business from here on out. Competition is extremely thick. How do you stand out and differentiate yourself from everyone else that does what you do? Brand. That's it. And so message, mission, consistency, audience. Then we could talk about logo and website as the identity of all of that. And presence. That's one thing I didn't talk about. Presence. You have to have a brand presence online. The first thing people do is Google you. And if nothing shows up, what's going to happen? The trust is going to go down the tubes. And so I said this before on an Instagram uh, video. I said, brand builds trust and trust builds brand. And without trust, there's no business. So hope you get some value out of this, guys. And again, understand that branding is the foundation of it all. Anybody can slap together a business. But can you, can you put together a brand that's articulate, that will describe who you are, what you do, and why it matters to your audience. Those are the brands that survive. I'm out, guys. I'll talk to you soon. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.